we have added the block to the editor to allow us to control the NXTB the next thing is to download a special block or to install a special block in the editor which we can download into the NXT computer brick to do that we go to delete me and the NXT complete folder that we um, unzipped in the previous uh, video uh, we can see the NXT block we used and enhanced FW which we haven't looked at before and this file LMS ARM NBC NXC 131 is the special firmware that we will need to enable the NXTB to operate with the NXT okay now what we need to do is to get this into the Lego software folder on C colon now if we go to computer um, my system disk is C colon and I have to go inside computer files x86 now if you're in a school you probably won't have permission to do this and you'll have to get your computer technician to do it if you're doing it at home you can, probably can do this but for goodness sake don't delete anything deleting things in this area um, you can get into all sorts of problems and you can even stop your computer working the program files are the heart of what you're doing so okay well we double clicked on uh, program files x86 we want to now see if we can find the Lego software here we are Lego software double click on that I've got two versions of Lego software installed on this this is Lego software uh, NXT 2.0 we'll start that one up now engine inside this is the one we're looking for uh, I'll double click on this one and again firmware is the one I'm looking for here double click again and you'll see this is where our firmware are stored I've got 1.28, 1.29 and 1.31 versions of the firmware from Lego what we've got to do is to add this special version that Andrew Malazzi and John Hansen produced into here because this is the one we'll use when we've got using the NXT B so let's click on that just drag it across and we've now got that inside our Lego software folder we'll close that down and breathe a sigh of relief we haven't deleted anything we haven't mucked anything up and <laughs> it will now be available to us to check if it'll be available let's start up our Lego software and let's move this down so it's inside the uh, click go tools update NXT firmware and we look and there we've got 1.28 1.29 1.31 plus LMS ARM NBC um, NXC I think it is 131 this is the one we'll need to download into our robot um, to allow us to use the NXTB to show you just the normal way we do this I've now got the um, cable plugged in from the uh, USB port into my uh, NXT robot which you can't see I'll start that up and uh, what I'll need to do let me close that down is update the NXT firmware I click on this and I've got to download it okay so let's click on download you've got to remember to make that orange okay uh, we're doing this um, all three have to go green waiting patiently you might hear some clicking
and download is finished. Okay, well, we've got that downloaded into the uh, our NXT computer brick, and that's all we need to do. We need to download that, and now we can use the NXT B uh, peripheral with that NXT robot that's had this particular file, this file, downloaded into the computer brick. That's all for this step. Thank you. We'll close this down. No, we don't want to save the changes. Yep, thanks very much.